Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Hello, boys and girls. This is Ranger Bill. Have you ever had your heart set on getting something and then was disappointed because someone else received it? By all rights, you should have gotten it, but somehow it was the other fellow who was given the break. How did you act in that situation? Did you take it gracefully, realizing that all things work together for good to those who love God? Or did you spunk up and act as though you never knew what Christian behavior really was? Well, this is exactly what happened to Ranger Ralph, who was due for a promotion when the next opening came along. <laughs> but wait a minute. First thing you know, I'll be telling you the whole story. Here it is. Next in line. Oh. Hi, Ralph. How are you? Anything of very shaken importance take place while we were gone, Ralph? <laughs> no, nothing happened, Stumpy. Everything quiet. Oh, Bill, a letter came for you from Colonel Anders. Put it on your desk blotter. I thought it might be important. Well, thanks, Ralph. Mm-hmm. Well, now that you fellows are back, I'll run along home. Okay, see you in the morning. Right. So long, fellas. Right. Bye, Ralph. Hello, Ralph. Well, from the size of that, looks like the colonel threw the book at you, Bill. Well, what's it say? Shh. Everybody quiet. Genius at work. Henry, you full of monkey business today. Well, okay, it's probably a good thing Ralph left when he did. Mm, what do you mm. mean? What mill? Andy Thompson from the Mid-Central District is retiring the 1st of June. And Gil Zodkin from the Pennsylvania Eastern District is coming out here to fill the vacancy. Gil Zodkin? Uh-oh. Ralph's going to be mad about that. By whose orders, Bill? A man in Washington, I assume. Colonel Andrews says his hands are tied by a top-level directive on both transfer and promotion. Woo! Ralph's liable to blow a fuse over this. He's the next in line, isn't he, Bill? Yes, he is, old-timer. Well, how do you like that? We're being invaded by a new boss ranger. There's going to be some fancy fireworks when this gets out. Uh, one thing, you fellas keep this under your hat until I have a talk with all our men in the morning. <laughs> Okay, fellas, let's quiet down. I have just received a letter from Colonel Anders relative to some personnel changes. As most of you know, Andy Thompson is close to retirement. The date is June 1st. There's a ranger from the Pennsylvania Eastern District assigned to take Andy's place. This man's name is Gil Zotkin. Now, Colonel Anders wants him to visit us for a while to get an idea how we work out here. As you know, our method of operation is somewhat different. The colonel would like Gil to actually run things for a while under my supervision. This will be like a training course for him. <clears throat> He'll arrive day after tomorrow. That's it, men. Well, I wish I were a mind reader right now, Stumpy. You and me both, sonny. Boys, you're unhappy. Bill? May I ask a question? Sure. Go ahead, Tom. Well, what's happened to the rule of promotion by seniority? Has it been junked? Not as far as I know, Tom. Then whose bright idea is this? Colonel Anders? No, Ed, it isn't his idea. The orders came from him, but he wrote and told me that he's guided by a top-level directive. Bill? Yes, Ralph? This looks to me like a fellow doesn't have a chance to get ahead by hard work. Well? It's who you know, not what you know. I was to get the next promotion. Everyone knows it. And either I get it or I quit. That's right. 
right. I thought the Forest Service was one place where influence didn't come. Yeah, that's right. Why should we train this new boss? Yeah. Let him find out for himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah like all of us did, including yourself, yeah. Bill. Fellas. Fellas. I can understand how you feel about this. However, I'm just following orders like you. Yes, I have a few questions myself on this issue, and I intend to find out the facts. When I do, those facts will be passed down to you. In the meantime, I think the less said, the better. Until we've all had time to settle down and think this whole thing over and cool off. There isn't going to be any cooling off, as far as I'm concerned, Bill. You better tell those big wheels they're going to be missing some rangers unless this is straightened out pronto. That's right, Bob. Well, back in the house. That's right. That's right. You got that report finished, Henry? Uh, right now, Bill. You know, Bill, I can't get over the strong reaction that news from the colonel got out of the fellas. I've never seen them act that way before. Ralph didn't even come in after lunch, and he always does. Well, I sent him out on the trail for today, at least, Henry. Maybe you'll think differently about things out there. Yeah, take it from me, fellas. There's a lot to this thing. More than meets the eye. Ah, uh, but plenty right, Stumpy. More than just facts that Ralph not get promotion. I don't follow you. I was under the impression that all the fellows are angry because Ralph didn't get promoted since he's the next in line. Well, that's all very true, pal. And the hidden part of it is that all the rest of the men put themselves in Ralph's shoes. Oh, you mean they're all saying to themselves, why should we work hard for so many years only to lose out in the end? Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's some reason why the central office is doing this. I don't think they should hold it back. It's not good psychology. You know, this is the sort of thing that shatters a man's dreams. His ambition. We all work for more than dollar wages. We work for prestige, importance, authority, reputation. Take those away, and dollar wages don't mean much, because a man's unhappy. What do you think can be done about this? Maybe Colonel Andrews cleared up what you plan to do, Bill. I can't do a thing right at the moment. I'm as much in the dark as you fellas. And from Colonel Andrews' letter, it's plain that he's in the same boat. I think the best thing to do is wait and see what happens. There's a ranger standing over there, Bill. That must be the fellow, Henry. Let's walk over and meet him. Help him with his bangs. Ah, he fine-looking man. Clean cut. Yep. Looks like he's got something under his head besides here. Hey, he sees us. Hello there. You Gil Zadkin? Yes, I am. You're Bill Jefferson? That's right, Gil. Shake. Now, these are my assistants, Gray Wolf and Stumpy Jenkins. My friend, Henry Scott. Hi, fellas. How do you do, Mr. Zadkin? Yeah, let us help you with your bags, Gil. We'll get over to headquarters. Ah, uh, that'll be fine. I appreciate your meeting me, Bill. It's always helps in a strange place. Well, it won't be strange for long, Gil. You know your way around in a couple of weeks. Ten and six, Ed. Okay, Ralph. Well, a new boss ranger must be here. There goes the nine five. Hey, there's the train. We got visitors. Visitors. I just as soon punch that guy in the nose as look at. Now wait a minute, Tom. That won't get us anywhere. Remember, we've got to behave ourselves if only out of respect to Bill. That's right, Tom. Bill's the best boss ranger on two feet. We don't want to hurt him if we can help it. Yeah. Well, what I'd like to know is, how are you going to fight this, Ralph? All the fellows are pulling for you, you know, 100%. That's right. What well, you say goes, Ralph. Nobody in a big, fat office a long ways from here is going to jip you of your rights. If they do it to you, they'll do it to all of us. Yeah, I know that. Let's, let's bide our time, fellas. Wait and see what happens. <laughs> This 
ends the guided tour of headquarters, Gil. No charge, of course. <laughs> well, there should be, the way you took me around. You fellas have a very impressive layout here. I should think you're ready for everything and anything. This largest district in country. Plenty ground to cover. I'm glad you said that, Grey Wolf. Bill, may I have a look at your maps? Ah, you beat me to the draw, Gil. That's next on the list. Let's see. How many maps have you got here on your rack, Bill? Ten altogether. You use them all? You see, we carry all the maps, so if we get lost following one, we can use the other nine and hope to find a way again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stumpy, you have quite a sense of humor. Quite enjoyable. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, Gil. He'll drive you to distraction now with his corny jokes. Ah, you see here, Henry. You laugh almost as hard as I do at my own jokes. You know it. <laughs> Better take it easy, fellas. I'd like to get through showing Gil around so he can meet the men in the morning and start working on the trail with them. Let's have it quiet, fellas. There's no need for me to point out to you who Gil Zadkin is, since that's very obvious. Now, Gil isn't going to remember all your names, first anyway. So I'll just introduce him to the three <laughs> senior men, then he'll meet the rest of you as he works along. Uh, come on along, Gil. Uh, Gil, this is Tom Allen. Hello. Hello, Tom. And, uh, Gil, this is Ed Freeberg. Howdy. I'm glad to meet you, Ed. And, uh, this big hulking fellow is Ralph. So you're the new boss ranger, huh? Well, not exactly yet, Ralph. Uh... You can meet the rest of the fellas in a few minutes, Gil. Men, I want you to extend every courtesy to Gil as you would to me. In a few days, he'll be out on the trail working with you as your boss. This is only temporary, of course. It's kind of training ground for Gil so he can find out our problems firsthand and benefit from experiences with us when he leaves for his new post. But when Gil gives an order... It's the same as though I gave it. Is that understood? Yeah. 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 Fine. And now I want you fellas to get acquainted with Gil. We'll be making a trail inspection first thing Monday morning. Got a fine group of rangers under your command, Bill. Thanks, Gil. You'll find that they're well-seasoned veterans. Cool as cucumbers in the face of any emergency. I could feel that. It's the impression you get from men who've been through a lot. Well, now if you'll excuse me, I've got to mail some letters. Also take a stroll around town on my own. So long, fellas. Yeah, I so see, long, you. Gil. see you. See you. Boy, talk about a refrigerator. Ralph, Ed, and Tom really were cold, weren't they? You said it, young feller. The ice was a foot thick. The rest of the men weren't so bad, though. I think whole thing come off better than expected, in spite of bad feelings. Yeah, I agree, Grey Wolf. No comment, Bill? Oh, I don't know what to say, fellas. I'm a little angry with our senior men. They know better than to act that way. I'm sure Gil felt it. That's why I wanted to take a walk, sort of think things over. Uh, can you blame fellows too much, Bill? Well, no, Grey Wolf, I can't. They have a point, all right. But that still doesn't excuse them for not acting more friendly to Gil. Well, what do you think of him, Ralph? Oh, I don't know. Seems like a nice enough fellow. I, I don't know. Thinks he's got, think he's got any more on the ball than anybody else. Why should he get my promotion? You're right, Ralph. I can't understand why they're breaking the seniority system in the Western Division. Personally, I think we ought to give the guy a bad time. Let the higher-ups know where we stand. Yeah, well, what about Bill's orders? We don't want to hurt him if we can help it. No, we don't have to stage a rebellion or anything like that. No, what I mean is heck old Gill in little ways. He'll only be here for a short while. Bill wants him to get experience. <laughs> so that's just what we'll give him, eh, Ralph? Yeah, that's a general idea, Ed. Let him know just how we operate. 
You fellas follow my cues. Pass the word to the boys to sort of goof things up for Gil. You know, nothing drastic, but, but good. Understand? <laughs> sure. We'll call it his initiation into the Western Division. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you out to where Ralph's working with the trail crews, Gil. Good idea, Bill. I'd probably end up ten miles off base myself. This will save time. You got everything you need? I think so. Uh, if you want anything from here, have one of the fire tower boys call in or else use the trail crew radio. No, I'll do that, Bill. Should be back in three days. Right. Don't forget to make out your daily reports. Okay, you better get going. Yeah, so long. So long, Gil. I'll be back as soon as I can, Bill. Hey, hey, get up there. Ed, uh, what's the matter with the men? Those stumps aren't regulation. What do you mean they're not regulation? The men are cutting them off two feet from the ground, aren't they? Two foot stumps aren't regulation, Ed, and you know it. We have trees back east, you know. Tell the men to get back over there and cut them over. Stop wasting the government's time. A foot and a half this time and be sure they keep them all that low. foot and a half? What are we making? A lawn? Hey, Lefty! Yeah, what's the matter, Gil? How wide are you plowing this fire lane? Well, 75 feet. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? You should know it's 90 feet. Huh? Oh, okay, so I made a mistake. I'll make it as wide as you want it. Ralph, when are the grazing permits report due in? I think they're supposed to be in now, Gil. What? Let me look at the schedule again. I haven't got it all down yet. Uh, let's see. Tree planting, wildlife diseases, flood control. Here it is. You're right, Ralph. They're doing today. Well, they won't be. You mean you haven't got them ready? Nope. Well, why? You knew they were due, didn't you? I've got other things to do than make out reports. How soon do you think you'll have them finished? A mm, couple of days couple of days. Can't you understand? If that doesn't satisfy you, you can do them yourself. You want to see me, Bill? Yes, Gil. Uh, Sit down, will you? Gil, I've just got the grazing permits report this morning. Some things I wanted to ask you about. Footbridge over Otter Creek had to be torn down and rebuilt. Fire lanes were plowed wrong, had to be corrected. Signs warning tourists not to pester the bears aren't up yet. Guardrail on the trail Dead Man's Gorge only half completed. So on. How about it? Uh, I guess I'm not cut out to be a boss ranger, Bill. Uh, nonsense, Gil. You wouldn't have been sent here for training if somebody didn't think you had it in you. Why didn't Washington wait until Andy Thompson retired and then send me right into my new job? That might be disastrous for you and the forest skill. If I were transferred to the Eastern Division, I'd want them to train me the way they're training you. Oh, you're right. But running a forest out here is different in lots of ways than it is in the East. You have different problems here. Believe me, I've learned a lot this past week. Glad to hear that, Gil. However, you haven't learned how to handle men. Gil, how would you handle this personnel problem if it happened when you take over Andy's district? That's why you're here, to give you training as a boss, not as a ranger necessarily. When you go to your new assignment, you've got to be ready for anything. Oh, what do you suggest I do? Gil, my men are testing you, just as they did me when I first took over. Call their bluff. Don't let them push you around. Meet them face to face and talk straight from the shoulder. You'll have senior men in your new command. All right. I'll take your advice. Thanks, Bill. (laughs) 
Fellas, I've called you together to tell you that I've just been raked over the coals for not getting the job done either right or on time. Uh, What's that got to do with us, Gil? Plenty, Ralph. I know you're giving me the business. Let's call it testing. testing. Uh, What if we are? Can't you take it? Yeah, Tom, I can take it. As long as your testing doesn't interfere with the job. We're here to get certain things done, and from now on, they're going to be done, or I'll know the reason why. Test me all you want. That's all right with me, as long as we get the job done. All these little errors and failures have got to stop, and stop right now. Okay. It's your turn to talk. Okay, Gil. We'll take the heat off. Yeah, let's give Gil a break, fellas. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Sonny, have you noticed something? By the way of things, Gil's got the boys moving right along. Yes, old-timer. I think Gil's finally got the man under control. They pushed him around for a while, but they've been called on it. Maybe the battle's over. You think Ralph and the fellas have gotten over their resentment? I hope so, pal. Resentment can eat in a man's spirit like a cancer. and He hardly realizes it. Yeah, but other people realize it plenty quick. Ah, uh, not true enough. Time will tell if fellows get over this. Well, Gill's called their bluff. He has the control. Chances are that now they'll try and get that control away from him. Henry, have those reports arrived yet? Hmm? No, Bill, they haven't. Uh, just what I thought. Well, what do you mean? How would you know? You took Storm out for a fast run early this morning. That's right, and I did that for a reason, pal. Hey, you're angry. Yes, I am. Get Ralph on the radio, will you? Tell him I want to see him at once. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Bill. You wanted to see me? Ralph, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Look, you know as well as I do, the fella hasn't got what it takes. That isn't what I'm talking about, Ralph. I want to know what's wrong with you. Me? Yes, you. I mean, deep inside. Ralph, we've been friends going on five years. You're not only a ranger under my supervision, but a personal friend. I know you like a book. You're not acting like your old self. Ralph, you're a strong Christian. But it's my guess you've fallen into the trap of Satan. I don't think my spiritual life is any of your business, Bill. But what you do for the U.S. government is my business. You're next in line for promotion, Ralph. (laughs) You mean I was next in line for promotion. However, with your present attitude, if an opening did come up, I wouldn't even recommend you for promotion. You wouldn't, eh? Showing your friendship, I suppose, huh? That's just why I wouldn't recommend you. Because I am your friend. Ralph, let's face it. You're filled with bitterness and resentment. Things haven't gone just the way you wanted it. So you're spunking. Is that so? What is this? You're giving me a sermon? No, Ralph, I'm not giving you a sermon. I'm talking straight from the shoulder about the terrific change for the worse that's come over you since Gil arrived. You've got to realize that we can't always have things our own way. Remember the lesson God taught Job? Job? Yeah, there's a lesson you and the big guns over you need to be taught. You can't push senior men around. God, he belongs to you. Deal with him as you would a son. In Jesus' name, amen.
Bill, Bill, phone's huh. ringing. Huh? Oh, I'll get it, Henry. Boy, the way it's ringing, something must have happened. Hello, Bill Jefferson speaking. Bill, Bill, this is Ralph. I, I'm sorry I woke you up. That's all right. What's wrong, Ralph? Me. I know it's an unearthly hour, but can I talk to you? I mean, as soon as I can get to your house. Well, of course, Ralph. Right over. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. Bye. I had to come to see you. God has been giving me a terrible whipping. Now, I'm terribly sorry for what I've done and the way I've acted. Uh, everything you said to me is true. I, I knew I was guilty. That's why I was so mean. The Lord wouldn't let me sleep until I came over here and apologized. I accept your apologies, Ralph. Believe me, I understand how you feel. Maybe I would have felt the same way if I'd been in your shoes. Thanks, Bill. You're a real friend in every sense of the word. Thanks, Ralph. And you can still help me, Bill, if you will. Gladly. Just name it. I'd like you to pray with me. and Ask the Lord to take the resentment out of my heart and put love and patience there. I want the Lord to give the patience that Job had. fellas gathered around. I'm supposed to be out working. I called them in, Gil. Something I want to say to you in front of them, if you'll let me. Okay. What is it? Well, Gil, the first thing I want to do is apologize for the things I've done to you and the way I've acted since you came on the job. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm the one who's been ringleading the special treatment you've been getting. I don't expect you to forgive me, but... I must say, anyway, that I'm terribly sorry, and please accept my apologies. For the rest of your stay with us, you'll have my wholehearted cooperation, and I'll help you as much as I can. Ralph, I appreciate what you've just done more than you know. It took a lot of courage. I most certainly will forgive you and accept your apology. Thanks, Gil. Okay, fellas. Let's get with it. Do the job we're supposed to do. Well, Gil, I must say you've done a fine job. Won a tough battle. Good for you. Thanks, Bill. It's been a terrific experience. I've learned a whale of a lot about supervising men. To give credit where credit is due, Ralph, Tom, Nate, and all the rest of the men have been an invaluable help in showing me the special problems you have out here. Well, that's fine. Very happy it turned out the way it did. Uh, you leave us in the morning for a new job. That right, Gil? Yes, Gray Wolf, that's right. I'm sorry to have to leave you fellas, but, well, orders are orders. Well, you won't be so far away, Gil. That's right, Sonny. We'll be working together. Oh, hi, Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Hi, fellas. I'm sorry you have to leave us, Gil. Thanks, Ralph. I'll be around to see you as often as I can. I'm afraid Ralph won't be here then, Gil. What's that, Bill? What do you mean, Bill? Uh, uh, Ralph, uh, here are new orders for you. Huh? Well, what kind of orders? Read them. They just came through. Fellas, I've been promoted to take over the Southern District. Louis Hampton's going to division headquarters, and I'm taking his place. Oh, it sounds almost too good to be true. It is true, Ralph. So you see, you really are next in line. Well, you can see, boys and girls, it never pays to jump to conclusions and think you've got all the answers. And in being bitter and resentful because things don't happen the way you'd like them to, you're only hurting yourself. Because the Lord may have bigger and better things planned for you. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ray!